loan records between you and Omar between this state. All right. Um, the to provide the documents for the uh -huh. subpoena, you can either. All right, y'all. Welcome back to Industries TV. And today, we continuing to talk about Omi and the Hellcat. Now, before we get into this video, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if y'all not subscribed to this channel, make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on. Now, earlier, I dropped a video on Omi the Hellcat. But now, we got some crazy exclusive footage. So, y'all need to grab y'all popcorn, sit back, and relax. Because it gets real crazy. The feds is after Mimi now. They told her she have a certain amount of time to come up with bank records and loan records to issue to the feds to make sure she wasn't in on what he was doing. That is crazy. And not only that, they said this case have something to do with fraud. Now, I don't know if it's still the IPTV service issue or is it something else that we don't know about? We just gonna have to wait and see. But let's hope they don't take his house. Let's hope they don't take his cars again because you know he started over from scratch and everybody thought it was fake, but now y'all see it's real. It's crazy. But let's get to these clips though. Can somebody please record this? Do you, um, what is going on? I said no already, okay. and I, I've asked for an arrest warrant. You guys aren't giving us any reason. Okay. Annette, yes. Would you mind helping oh. her get, get dressed so we can talk to her about? Can you explain what's going on? Yes, we'll get an arrest warrant. I want to know what's going on. I don't want to speak to anybody right now. I want to put on my pants and like. Do you want to get dressed? What are you guys looking for? You guys got a big phone call? Okay. You guys got a big phone call? God. This is clothes. If you want to move the bag in the back of it, you can do that. Okay. I'm just going to move these bags. How many guns do you have? It's just right there. The, my, I I'm not even like 100%. Right here. Okay. I'm going to give this to my partner just to look to see if there's a weapon in there. Is that registered to you? Yes. Yes. He hasn't done anything for him to be treated like a... He's not being treated like anything. Dude, you guys don't even want to tell him what you're taking him in for. Can I please get him some things? just court. It's just court and stuff. Yeah, but what the... I don't get charged for this. He wants something else, we'll come back and get him something else, okay? Okay, 
Alright, come on down first. Do you guys have the search warrant? But you're not searching the house. Please. Yeah, they're searching the house. They're doing yeah. clear for people. Can you go down first? Can they all come to the front if they're not allowed to search the house? They're not searching. Yeah, no one's searching for stuff. Just making sure no other people are here. Alright. They want to take him somewhere to get yeah, Is there like a bedroom downstairs or something where? No, 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 no. Look at people who are here. I don't got a room where we're trying. Mimi, watch it with my phone. Where is it? Where is it? Right there, right there. Back to the front of the house. Back to the front of the house. Okay. Alright, the, uh, I'll, um, I'll text you my phone number in case you Do you want the backpack or just me to open Just the black portfolio. All right. Do you need my lockbox? No. So are you guys take my purse? No, we're just no. keeping it oh, okay. safety right now. No, I'm just making sure. I don't yeah. know. I'd like so, that. This is so unexpected. So we're not What's going to happen is, so we have a federal arrest warrant for Omar. We're going to take him to the Philly FBI office. He's going to get processed there. And then he'll have his initial court appearance later on today, like midday today. And then that's where the judge will like give him a copy of the charges that are against him. And let him know. Okay, are you guys keeping him today or? Well, the, the judge is who determines that. The, the judge at that hearing will I determine. I thought you guys our, were going to schedule a court date and everything. Like this, like we were told that you guys weren't going to come like this. We were going to have a court date and go forward that way. No, I don't know. Did someone say that or yes. was that assumed? That was said. Well, I'm not, I don't know who That's said why that. I'm like. But regardless. Well, you guys would not show up like this again to the house to, to grab him. Like, this is why we're like. Yeah, well, we, there's no search. So he's going to go see that judge today. Mm -hmm. And then that judge will, like I said, give him a copy of the charges. And then also that judge will return his bail. It's a fraud case. So unless there's some stuff that I don't know about. No. Um, he's literally a fucking he, he nerd. Probably, like, this is like beyond me like honestly like i like i don't know how much you know about the case but he's literally a nerd like he sits at home all day plays with kids like he and he i feel like throughout this process a lot of people have been treating him like he's like this super harmful criminal and he literally yeah. wasn't even like Thanks. you would think he like killed fucking 15 kids like it's insane i'm gonna show you a copy of the arrest warrant So, I mean, these are all the charges that he was charged with. But he'll get a detailed list, you know. He'll get a copy of the indictment. Can he, can he see this? Yeah, he can see it. She just wanted to see the arrest warrant. I don't understand this part. So he'll get to see an actual copy of the indictment when he goes to court today. And that details, like, what all this came from. Why they covered Why you guys covered my camera? You know there's a whole system here, right? Yeah. Remove that tape off the screen. Give me a second. I like it. Okay. Just come bail me out. I am. You know and call me. my new lawyer. Because Dante's fired. Yeah, the thing to do is just contact his attorney. No, no, it's cool. Like I've been we've been I've been working with two different law firms huh? for this day. They don't want the okie doke. What's the uh what are their names? Is there an attorney you've been dealing with? Yeah. I gave you one can of my attorneys can, to, just to represent. Can I, I have, um... I have a whole team behind me. What's that? What do you need? I need his voice phone number. His voice? No, it's the... Yeah. The door right in front of you. Can you just... You can, you can call it down. Yeah, you can put it in your phone, or you can write it down, whatever you write want. Write it down? Right here. All right. Make a call. Do it I, I don't want to get off my phone. That's what I'm saying. I want to write it down. To, listen. I got it. Hold on. I'm just gonna pay. Hey, can you give her a pen and a little notes? It's right here. Hey,
You have a right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. Yep. If you cannot afford one, then we'll be for you before questioning if you wish. You can just try to answer the question now. If you're not a lawyer, you have a right to stop answering at any time. All right. That's silly. You know it's an affordable lawyer. Just need to advise you what your rights are, sir. Thank you. That's fine. Come on, move over here. Thank you. Um, Mimi, right here. Damn, tape off. You can just put it anywhere, I don't care. Yeah, literally, it's fine. Yeah. Somebody said, not in a Malibu. <laughs> On me in the Hellcat? Nah. Oh. Hey, can you, can you roll that up and put a lock on it? Bro, I'm not even doing nothing, bro. <laughs> Somebody get him. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, Fuck no, nobody pranking us. You see, that's not what this is for. For my it's, personal? It's just, it's for you. And um, what it's asking for I know what it's are for. loan records between you and Omar between this state. All right? Um, the, to provide the documents for the mm -hmm. subpoena, you can either, you can, let's see here. Looking for the prosecutor's email address yeah. here. Okay, you could, if you have paper documents you want to scan, you could scan them and email them to the AUSA at that address. You can mail them to that address. You could call the AUSA and hand deliver them. We can come pick them up, whatever you want to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me correct but, my phone number on the back there. That's not correct. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any questions about like, the requirements of the subpoena? There's a date on there too. I'll we'll review that real quick. So the date that the responses is do you're getting things together and you just need a little more time and you reach out to the AUSA or if your attorney reaches out to the AUSA, um, normally we can accommodate that. As Initial court appearance is going to be later this morning or early this afternoon. So just, if you have the attorney's number, just please yeah, I'm going to give the attorney now. a call. All right? All right. Or if okay, you want, we can give you a call and tell you when he's had when his appearance is over. If you'd like that. I'll, I'll have his lawyer contact you guys. Okay. So okay. just call... FBI Office of PA, 
Well, okay. his lawyer will have to call. Why PA? If his lawyer is going to have to call the U.S. Attorney's Office, which is the number on the back of that subpoena or on the front of the subpoena. He would, the, his attorney would not contact us directly. No, I know. So you know but you, can call. you said he's going to be at FBI Office of PA in Philly. Yeah, that's where this case is worked out of Philly. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Now that y'all seen that and heard that, man, stroll down to the comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this whole situation. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I hope Mimi don't get locked up next because they asked her for a lot of personal information. And I'm pretty sure she wasn't in on none of that. That's just her friend. You know what I'm saying? She helping him run his business, you know, and do what he got to do and rebuild. And, you know, you got a lot of haters out there. So somebody might have made a false phone call and got all this done because y'all know Omi got a lot of haters out there but anyway with that being said man i ain't gonna get too deep into it we gonna wait and see what else pops up and then i'm gonna keep y'all updated so with that being said make sure y'all smash that like button and if y'all not subscribed to this channel make sure y'all subscribe with post notifications turned on mouth peace